uh, Springfield M1A, yep. also known as an M14, what the military calls it. Yeah. 308, 308. That's still on a fireball. Is that XM193? I might have to make some more adjustments to this scope. What is that thing, Brian? What's that? What is that gun? <laughs> Rifle, or rather? Uh, target match model. Colt target match? Yep. off those trees over there. Yeah. I love that ping. Can you hear that? That's awesome. And that was your 50 grain VMAX. Yeah. Out of the Which that one I knew I pulled. What I mean, was it? This was your first group? This was my first group on 50 grain VMAX. Oh, on the center. Gotcha. Which is like an inch and three quarter, I'd say. But one of those was my first dry shot. Uh, uh, elevation, I was just putting the crosshairs on it. I'd say it's left and right, she's good. That gun in that lead sled just does not move. I know. It looks like a 22 or less. Not that you need it, but it's a nice rest. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, it didn't look. It's seriously the only way to shoot a slug, like sight in a slug gun. What you, hold up. Brian, what do you got here? This is the M12 or M127 Alpha 1. Oh, this is a signal illumination ground white star parachute cluster. Not quite dark enough, but. Ready? You're supposed to hold it on a surface? Huh? You're supposed to hold it on like a firm surface? Yeah, when I'm when I'm doing training stuff, I pound them on my helmet that's on the ground. Oh, because you got to hit them on something. That's yeah, yeah, there's a primer like in the there's back. A like a... There's a shotgun primer right there. If you fucking jerk that son of a bitch to the left and shoot that through my truck window, I'm gonna be so pissed off. That's the coolest thing I've seen in my life. <laughs> I wish it was dark out. How many more of those do you have? Just the one. Did you hit it? Smack it? I don't know. Try it again. Here, smack. I got it. <laughs> it took a chunk off the top.